Their last meeting, as we mentioned before, was in Los Angeles this year. Uh, in the semi-finals, Dementieva won that in straight sets, 7-5, 6-2, and that was the very last time that Sharapova lost a match bec uh, before, of course, going on to win that US Open and then two more titles uh, on the indoor season. So uh, there's no question that she is the player on fire coming into this event and just huge improvements all around. I just think that the court surface is really going to favour her. Yeah, well, it is. And it's, it's going to be a nice match in a way that they both like to play against players that hit the ball hard um, so I'm sure they're looking forward to playing this match as well it's the end of the year it's an important match Dementieva was just saying that this is for her the most important tournament of the year which is a uh, interesting uh, to hear more and more players talking about how important they think the year-end championships are and uh, it's, it's surprising also to, to hear from them that they think it's more important than the Grand Slams. Well, that is extraordinary. You, yes. you would never have uh, picked that, would you? No, uh, no, but I, I think it's, it's a good thing because um, you only have the top players playing this week. Um, it's, um, they all play each, play each other. I think it's a, a good formula to have these uh, round-robin matches and then the semi-finals and the finals. And, um, well, also, it's such an intense rivalry between oh, yeah. all of them, and it showed an enormous depth at the top of the women's game. And uh, we've got former Grand Slam champions, former champions, former world number ones. They're all here. It doesn't get any more intense than it is this week. It does. I think it's a good thing that women's tennis, uh, it, there's not, it's hard to say that there's one favourite in this tournament. Um, uh, Sharapov is the player in form, but I think she can be beaten as well, and I think that makes it very interesting also uh, the the depth in the in the women's game at this moment is uh, is better than it's ever been and what about uh, Dementieva's tactics out here I mean obviously she uses uh, her forehand as a weapon uses her athletic ability out there but hasn't got a huge amount of variety she can't do what an NNR den can do to Sharapova no she's not gonna start slicing or start hitting uh, uh, drop so shots very much I think she's um, the variation will come from Sharapova, but we'll have to see. <laughs> OK, well, thanks for that. Let's head to our commentators for this one. Sam Smith and Chris Bradnam. Joe Jury and Chris Bradnam. So the first match in the red group, Maria Sharapova, the Russian number one, seeded two, world ranked two. And she's up against Elena Dementieva, the Russian number four, seeded seven and world ranked number eight on the rankings that uh, were newly released yesterday. Dementieva. The last woman to beat Sharapova will begin. Well, the thing with this court, I feel that even though Sharapova is, is quite good for her because the ball checks and she can hit it very hard. Also, Dementia is such a good athlete. She's going to be getting a lot of these balls back and trying to frustrate Sharapova. Let for sir. Fabulous. Looking very cool. Maria Sharapova up the court. She just loves that position. In charge, middle of the court, up the court. Good finish to the point. Didn't do anything too special with it. Well, gave the body language that uh, suggested she thought she'd made that, but no challenge. Let's have a look if she had have done. And rightly so. Two break points.
Hmm. Second serve. No, it's a double. That's thrown yeah. everybody. <laughs> Lynn Welsh was sort of waiting for a second serve then. There's a break. It is, and the early signs are not good for Dementiva. Well, we know that her serve is going to be attacked by Sharp over the whole match. Yeah. So really it depends how many first serves can she get in to take a little bit of pressure off herself. You're right, she does blend into the court, <laughs> doesn't she? <laughs> Sharapova, that is. It's been pouring That's with rain in Madrid ever since we arrived. And we saw Maria arrive, and there was a beautiful Porsche parked outside. She stopped in the rain to peer in. Advanced sales of tickets, semi-finals and finals sold out. And Joe, you were scouting earlier about 60% the rest of the mm. days? Yes, that's what the figures are. I thought more people would come in at 8 o'clock because the Spanish do like to do everything rather later in the day than the British do. There have been a few mishits, a few overhitting, because this court, I, I'm not sure if it uh, always does bounce the same. It checks and holds, and I think some of them are swinging before the ball is actually mm. in the right place. Old faithful to the rescue. It is such an effective serve, of course, Sharapova's. What a contrast to Dementiva's, of course. It's the glaring thing between them. The difference. Six feet two now. One metre eighty-eight, Sharapova. We talked briefly and a little about the round robin setup, Joe, and of course, mentally, it is so different for them to get used to it. It's the only time in the year they play in this format, but yes. the first match, therefore, I guess, becomes even more important to get off to a winning start. Well, yes and no, because even if you lose the first match, you can still go through. But if you were playing, wouldn't you want to win that first I, of one? Of course, I want to win every match. <laughs> <laughs> Greedy, isn't it? Absolutely.
Hmm. Interesting. Oh yeah, I thought it was a double fault. Yeah, same. But no Can challenge from Sheriff Hover. Well, it's strange, isn't it, that uh, Dementia puts down her best serve, fastest serve of the match, and loses the point in the end. Backhand down the line has been ferocious in the last few weeks, hasn't it? Yeah. Won her last 16 matches. Sharapova coming in. such a thorn she disguises it so well she hardly ever shows how uptight she gets about the double faults but again puts her in trouble on a break point oh and a foot fault second serve well that's four doubles already in just two service games it's a double break, three love, commanding lead almost at the start of this first set. So on the back foot straight away, Dementia in this all Russian affair, Sharapova, a three love double break lead. She's a tough woman to stop when she gets in front. Although Dementia with so many matches in three <laughs> sets, but tough today. First time, really, that Dementia has made Sharapova look slow. Well, a lot of foot faults being called. Mm. Do they know the rule? Mm. That'll help. She needs all the luck she can get right now. Quite a loose net, so the ball is just going to rebound off it and go over.
Yes, Ventura hitting herself, hitting her leg with her racket. She needs to get going. Super. Got onto that quickly and hit it very hard. Well, she guessed which way to go. Read it right. A very short swing, but hit it hard. Break point. How often have we seen that this year, last year, and the year before? She's always had that quality, it seems, ever since we started seeing her play. a super sound here Joe the crowd are fully into good mm. tennis no the crowd has filled up it really has and it's good to see and it makes it for an atmosphere and they certainly enjoy points like this has improved moving forwards but still not totally at home break point again Just long. The crowd thought she'd made it. They seem to be on dementia the side. Well, three love down. I think they want a match. Yeah. First match was so easy. How popular do you think Sharapova is around the world with fans, with the grunting and the camp around her and some of that? Was it? Yeah. Oh. Well, it's going to be. Did she see that first? No, I don't think it was shown on a screen. I was watching. Just on our monitor. Yeah. On the replay. Because it was shown as in. And it was a clean winner, wasn't it? It was. It'll be interesting to see what Lynn Welch does here. It's taking a long time to be played back in, into the arena. Yeah. Sharapo immediately off camera is just pushing the balls towards the net. She's accepted the call. 3 1 it is. I only mention that, Joe, because in a lot of matches that we've called of Sharapos, I always feel the crowd are on her opponent's side. Mm. Well, she, she doesn't come over with a lot of warmth, but that's because she's so focused on what she wants to do. Of course, Chris Evert had this problem. She was called the Ice Maiden. Yeah. But eventually people came round to really respecting her in her tennis. She's getting going here now, Dementia. Yeah, but even a legend like that, you're saying, had to work hard at it. Yes, she did. You can't change the way you are naturally, can you? No. To please people, you just got to go out and right. do your thing. Absolutely right, and she does give it her all, and I think that people, you know, should respect her for it. Yeah. That's a fistful already, isn't it? You got four? Oh, you must be right, Chris. 
Yes. Five. That's a first. Oh, another footfall. Now they've mm. got to check this out. Yep. Because this is, well, we haven't seen this all year no. at any event, That's this number. It's four already, isn't it? Yeah. It was a good return because I was a very good serve. We're not great fans of the dementia or attempted drop shots, are we, no. Chris? Especially from there. Not a lot of touch. Plenty of power. Let's first serve. It's almost like the panic button, isn't it? It's like seeing Andre Agassi serve and volley continuously. <laughs> Hmm. Well, the point you made right at the start. Now Sharapova will chase after the serve. It must feel like a mountain. She's not getting the breaks to mention it. Because here's another break point to save. Great heading. Re-establishes the double break cushion. Four of the five games so far against the server. Eurosport.co.uk and its brand new European football game. Trade in all the European National League teams and win fantastic prizes. If it's live, it's at Eurosport.co.uk. So 4-1, the advantage for Sharapova. Here's Vera Dementieva. Have a present for her daughter. Same expression. Yep, every time. So it continues to haunt her. Quarter final of the US Open. She lost to Jankovic 2-1. Didn't hold serve the entire match. That was good this touch from little Sharapova. Little Got the big shot to set it up. Very nicely done. Definitely looking to do it more, isn't she? Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sometimes sure. She, she's sort of doing it by numbers sometimes, right? I've hit that shot, so I'll come in. <laughs> yes. Wow. 
Excellent. Mm. Well, if you put this dimension onto her game as well. Mm. But exactly the right time to come in because it was an easy volley to finish. No need for a drive volley. She'd done all the hard work. Just has to put this in court. Good serve again. We have heard, incidentally, from Bertrand Dumont, our producer, who in the press conference that Moresmo had after her loss against Petrova, has said quite firmly, I am continuing in the event. No hint of her pulling out. Mm, interesting. Good game. I love game. Miss Resilient, we often call her Joe. And that's Mr. Toughnut, Yuri Sharapov on the left, and Michael Joyce, the hitting partner on the right. But uh, again, we come to a point where the off season, a lot of the women, of course, are so looking forward to some time off, but Dementia for quite a few seasons has tried to tweak the serve in the off season. Will it be another attempt? Hypnosis, perhaps. Not when she's playing, of course, but <laughs> because you just get the feeling it's going to happen yeah. again and again and again. And it is a mental thing, as you said throughout the mm. issue. There are times when she serves really well. Yeah. Yeah, she's all at sea. Dementia. Well, I suppose she was up the court in a position to play the drop shot, but there's just no feel to it at all. It was up in the air for so long. Three set points for Maria Sharapova. 26 minutes played so far. Can barely look. Takes a little pace off it to get it in. And Sharapova annihilates it. 6-1, the opening set for the number two seed.